Yeah, um, I'm in the road, isn't that? Everything is just so different, obviously, because it's a whole different country, but I literally got on the bus and, like, there's literally no seat. And then there's, like, literally only, like, three stop buttons on the whole bus. And because the bus was so packed, I couldn't reach the stop button. So they went past my stop. So now I literally don't even know where I am. There's no footpaths anywhere. Like, everyone's driving on the other side of the road. I don't really know where I'm going, what I'm doing. So, so slow. And I'm also boiling hot because I'm wearing literally four layers. So, wish me luck. <laughs> Wait, guys, I think I found the train station. I made it to the station. Oh my god. Hey. I've just made it to the hostel. For a hot minute there, I did not think I was going to get here. I was lost. My train didn't exist. I was in the middle of the outback. I was like, what is going on here? But I made it. I'm in my hostel. And I was honestly so nervous about staying in the hostel. But literally the second I walked through the doors, I was like, what? Like, it's like a community area. Like, the staff are so nice. There's activities going on. It's all big. It's all bright. It's all open. Like, it's all colourful. I'm like, this is so nice. Um. So, yeah. I'm so happy I'm finally here. I just feel like so much more like I was feel like I don't know. I was just holding it together this morning. I was like, I'm just gonna make it. I'm just gonna get there. But thank God I'm here now. So that is amazing. It's like 20 degrees ish, and the sun's out. So I'm boiling because I'm literally wearing like this is so much right there. A bodysuit, a cardigan, another cardigan, this, and I was wearing my puffer because I was like trying to layer to like be smart about my traveling. So I need to change. And then I'm gonna go explore around Rome. So let's pick an outfit. So on my TikTok, I like did uh, um, outfits I wear in Rome. So I've got all those clothes here, but now I'm like, cause I said what I was gonna wear everything for, but now I'm like, what do I actually wear today? Like I don't wanna waste an outfit, you know? I think I'm leaning, I'm gonna do this. I think I'm just gonna pull out the full stop tonight. And if I don't get a photo on it, then that's okay. And I can just wear it again tomorrow and get another photo. So let's go. I also need to wash my face because I haven't done anything really to my skin since yesterday night. Because I've had like a whole travel night. So let's go sort ourselves out. Wait, low key, this bathroom is actually really cute. Like it has these like double doors. Literally, I'm in the Wild West. And then two little like hang on i'll give you a full hostel tour later because there's like someone in the room right now and i don't want to like film him but i'll show you the bathroom right now so you like open like the salon doors like, salon like the, the swingy doors and then a shower there a shower there toilet there toilet there sink there and then there's also a couple more sinks outside i need to change and then do so pardon me, I need to wash my face and do some skincare and then probably freshen up my makeup. <laughs> I love this dress so much. I did a little bit of makeup and I feel so pretty and I'm so excited. I'm gonna go and explore Rome. Whoa. I've put my hair in a little half up, half down. I don't know if this is noticeable, but yesterday when I was very stressed, I like cut my front pieces shorter and like I cut off my dead ends. Like I gave myself a very impromptu haircut. Um, it looked shocking when I first did it. I feel like it's just, it's blending in a bit more now, but like this piece is much shorter than it was, so it's just fallen out, but very cute. And one of my friends gave me this little like camera clicker things. So if I, like I can just like hold it and click and take photos. So I'm about to be making, I've taken so many photos because I was like, how am I supposed to do it otherwise? Like self timer, that would have been a bit, a bit, a bit awkward. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait for my chunk. 
I'm gonna wait for my phone to charge a little bit more and then I'm gonna head out. How gorgeous is all this? And like you can walk through it, like I'm literally in it. This is insane. Like, this is a postcard. This is insane. Oh my god, Rome is literally beautiful. Like obviously I knew that, but it's just like you really understand Rome wasn't built in the day because holy moly, it's it's gorgeous. Ah! It's just like crazy to think how old this stuff is and like how many lives and things these rocks have seen. <sighs> crazy. Holy moly. Oh, is this even real? Literally. Are you guys seeing this? Like, it's so crazy to think like this is just how these people lived. Like this was just their life and now millions of millions of people just like come and walk around their old homes and like churches and buildings and like one day i guess in the very far future this will be like people walking around our old buildings it's just insane like how is this just like chilling in the middle of the room literally everywhere i turn something's just more stunning than the other edge also i can literally see the coliseum from here i'm going on uh, tuesday or wednesday i'm going so i don't want to spoil it for myself but you can see it right right there that's the coliseum it's literally like 4 p.m but i am ravenous because i just need some food so i'm um, just keeping on just random place and getting a little pizza and then actually when my pizza arrives i'm starving I just put up my pizza. It was seven euros. I originally see the size that I was expecting like a, like a medium pizza, you know, just a chill classic pizza. This is literally the biggest pizza I've ever seen in my whole life. Oh my god, I'm so excited to eat this. And this this time. After the pizza, I stopped and got some gelato. I'm so sorry, I forgot to film, but I was just having a little spontaneous main character moment, and it was mamma mia, delicious! It was so good. I got strawberry and vanilla, and they were both best ice cream gelato literally ever. But I've just got back, like I said, and um, I just met a really nice lady. She was so nice she was from america she was so sweet but now it's just me so i thought i'd do a little tour of the hostel see what see what you're getting into because i just didn't really know anything about what a hostel was going to be like so i'll give you a little tour so basically you get in through the door there's just like loads and loads of rooms and when you first come in i've not even looked in here this is like hanging things if you need to hang anything i haven't put anything in there and then there's like a couple sinks here which i guess are for people getting ready or something some mirrors, hair dryer, all that jazz. And then I showed you this before, but like the bathroom area. So that's like the toilet, showers, and another sink. And so that's there. And then come around here. There's a couple desks, um, chairs, like benches for people, a couple windows. And then there's all the bunk beds. I'm gonna show everyone stuff, but I'm I'm this one here, and this is me. Got my little blanket and my pillow. I got my little charger, and then I put everything in my little locker there, so, yeah. Il primo amore sarà per sempre il più bello Il primo amore sarà per sempre il più forte All'orizzonte quando il ciel si oscura Non ce ne accorgiamo Il primo amore si vive solo una volta Il primo sguardo rimane dentro I'm currently downstairs in like the common room area Because everyone upstairs can sleep obviously And I didn't want to wake everyone up um, But... 
got ready for the day and I've come yeah. down. It's apparently like a severe weather warning this morning, but so I don't know because my plan was to do like the Spanish dips and see the Trivia Fountain today. But this afternoon, like the weather's like sunny and stuff, so I think I'll do that this afternoon. I just need to plan on what I'm gonna do this morning. Um, yeah, this is, this is the outfit of today. These pants from Zara, I got them from an, a charity shop. And this little like, um, kind of see-throughy, meshy kind of top, which I love. It's from Pull and Bear. I got it pretty recently, so it's probably still available, I don't know. And then I'm just wearing like a, a white tank underneath. Uh, figure out what I'm gonna do for breakfast. And then figure out what I'm gonna do this morning, so. I did sleep, I did go to sleep at literally 10 p.m. Um, 10. 6 p.m. last night because I was so exhausted because I had no sleep at the airport um, and I woke up at 7 so I had literally 13 hours of sleep last night. You can't really tell but yeah she's definitely waiting. Um, it's not awful though. Oh gosh. Oh my pants. Um, it's very drippy but it's not terrible so um, yeah. Okay I decided to try out in Italian McDonald's. Um, I actually don't know what about it. Well, let me show you. Here we go. On the screen, this looks like orange juice. I thought I ordered orange juice, but it's definitely weird. So maybe it's grapefruit or something. I have no idea. And then I ordered a chocolate croissant, but they, um, when I went to pick it up, they said they didn't have any, so I had to pick a different one. So I picked this one. I think it's berry, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's give it a try. Okay. Oh, I think this is great for it. Yeah, this is like little fresh grape fruit juice. It's pretty good though, to be fair. Okay, then this croissant. This is like huge, this is only one year, so... Ah, yes, it is very, it's like a jam in the This is crazy to me, but it's literally... Like, this is like one of like a very good quality croissant. I'm learning how much it is. Okay, I'm just gonna eat this then. So I've come to the trivia fountain, and um, I don't know what my luck is, but it's literally Queen's collection day. So they've like blocked the whole fountain off and they've literally just used this machine to uh, suck up all the points. Um, so I can't throw a point in. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Um, so I guess I will be coming back here now. Uh, I guess maybe they just do this every Monday morning. I don't know, I don't know if it was a plan. But it's beautiful. I thought it would be less busy because it's a Monday morning, but it's still very busy. Oh, so yeah, anyway. Okay, it was so busy at Trivia Fountain. I feel like you guys probably couldn't hear me, but now I'm off to the Spanish Steps. I will say one thing about Soda Trap Line. Like, I will do a whole recap when I'm when the trip's finished, but so far, the one thing, this is gonna sound so like dumb, but it's just no one to take a photo. Like and especially somewhere like Rome, I'm scared to ask people to take my photo, not because, like, I'm happy to ask, it's just, I'm scared that my phone's gonna get stolen if I hand it to somebody. So, I did just ask one girl to take a photo in front of me in, in the trip fountain, but, like, low-key, the photo wasn't that good. But then I feel bad, like, if I was with my friend, I'd be like, mm, take a better one, please, and, like, tell her how to do it, but, or my family, but, because it's like, I don't wanna be like, mm, sorry, this suck, can you take some more? Like, I don't know. So that's the one thing, and it sounds so dumb. Like everything else is incredible. I'm so grateful. That's just one little thing. I made it to the Spanish Steps. It's very busy and very loud. These are these are not there. Don't you worry. They're down there. I just walked up there, and then I realised I didn't film it. So let's go have a look at them. They are very beautiful. I did take some self-timer photos, so um, I'm hoping they look good. One of my tips is when you take photos of yourself. Take a lot, so you have lots of options. But then, like, if you don't love them, just you need to look at them with fresh eyes. So I'm just, I wasn't obsessed with all of them. Like, I took a lot. So I'm like, 
tonight when I get back to the hostel and I'm just in bed, I'm just gonna go through them and I'm sure I will look at them with fresh eyes and be like, you know what, these are actually really cute. Sometimes in the moment, your self get doubt gets to you. So you just got you just gotta roll with it. Anyway, the, these are the sort of steps I'm walking down right now. But I'm gonna give you a show when I get to the bottom. Yeah. Anyway, here I'm walking down the floor. Give me your pick, hang on, let me let me get to the bottom. A helicopter just went above, so it's flat up a bit. Here they are. Very cute, very pretty, very amazing. Oh my god, wait, look at this. Ah, I love humans. Hang on, there's people in the way. Look at them. Aww. Well, so remember I told you there was a severe weather warning? Well, yeah, no, it is absolutely gorgeous. It is beautiful. Literally, pure blue skies. Beautiful sunshine. Um, I don't know what room's about. They just don't understand. I'm, it, like, it is hot. Maybe it's because I'm literally from, I've come from London. But it is so hot, like, I cannot imagine how hot it gets in summer. I am toasty. Anyway, I think my plan now is I think I'm gonna go to a little coffee shop and like sit, because I've got my book. I don't know why, but I've got my book with me. This bag is honestly incredible. Like, it fits so much, but I've got like a whole book in there, so I'm like, maybe I'll just go sit somewhere and read my book. But, I don't really know. I haven't really seen, this is going to sound really silly, but I haven't really seen any proper like cafes. Like, loads of restaurants sell coffee, like coffee culture is massive here, like even with coffees all the time. But like, I've seen McDonald's everywhere, like there's so many McDonald's. I just got a shirt, I just got this one. It is so cute. I'll show you it on later, but I just was like, I need a room shirt, so I got one. So I just got a snack, and I was debating whether or not to show you guys, because sometimes I feel like, like I don't wanna be triggered or anything, but like, this is a snack that I genuinely really like, and it was something that I actually knew what it was, and it was cheap, so I got it. But sometimes I'm like, people are gonna, I think it's diet culture or that I'm just getting it because it's low calorie. I, I, I don't know, like, I don't know. So, I got some chocolate rice cakes. Like, I love a chocolate rice cake. They're delicious, it's chocolatey, it's crunchy. And for me, I just genuinely like them, and this was cheap, and there's literally, I think, six of them in here. It's like one of the cheapest that you can buy, and so, that's what I'm eating. I'm gonna have these. Okay, I'm currently looking at this little vegan restaurant. The Highland is like the bone classic for vegan. When you guys sent me the recommendations, I was like, I'm gonna check her out. So apparently I should always be there. But it's such so pretty, not the alley, it's just like so pretty. Past loads of things. Past the Pantheons, I think I might go back there after I have some food because I am hungry. But yeah. Hopefully it's good. I didn't think it existed for a second, but it does, and it is so cute. I decided to sit outside. Everyone else is inside, but it's a beautiful day. So I'm outside. Uh, I think the guy's gonna come take my orders, so this is gonna be embarrassing if I'm videoing myself. Okay, I'm getting the Cacio e Pepe because so many of you guys told me I needed to try that. So I'm getting that. I've never had it in my whole life, so I'm very excited. It's kind of loud out here. Hang on, I want to show the shirt I got because I'm actually obsessed with it. Oh, phone rang my Anyway, so it's this really cute little baby tea. I think, like, it says 7 to 8, but like, it is like an ill fit, you know? And it says, Xiao Bella, which one of me and my best friends from New Zealand used to say all the time. It was like a little thing we used to always do. So I love that. It's this little aroma. Oh my god, and it's like bright pink. It's so cute. I'm obsessed. Also, he brought me water, and I realized I haven't had any water today. I did have juice this morning though, but like I didn't realize how thirsty I was, so that was amazing. Anyway, I've got my book. Um, I'm outside, it's sunny, it's beautiful, so I think I'm just gonna read, because my phone battery is shocking. It's only 12. Actually, it's about 12.30, right, hang on. Yeah, it's 12.30 now. My phone battery's on like 30%. So I think I'm gonna read and save my phone battery. I'll show you when my pasta comes out though. Oh my god, this looks so good. Let's get a little taste. Mm. It's so good. 
that is incredible. There is actually no way that it is vegan though. It surely cannot be vegan. I don't... Girl. All done. That was absolutely delicious. <laughs> I don't know how to talk about this, but... Things with cheese sauce has been so good throughout my whole recovery. Like macaroni cheese and like just like cheesy sauce and something that I've always just been so terrified. Like even in my meal plan, like I requested nothing with cheese sauce. Like I never had anything with cheese sauce. Like I don't know, it's just always my biggest fear because of like the cream and the cheese. So the fact that I just ate that and enjoyed every last bite, I'm just so proud of myself. Also, I, I'm, I need to check on the menu, but like this did not taste vegan at all, like in the slightest. Like I don't know. If I'm tripping, I need to check. Let me let me double check. Okay, on the menu it says vegan cheese and vegan cheese sauce, so I guess it is. But that, guys, that was like I know people say like vegan food tastes like the same. Like don't, I'm, like I know people make fun of vegan food for not tasting anything like it, but like that tasted so realistic. I here for a bit longer and read my book. Um, this one is so good, like I had it so much hype, it's I'm very late to the trend. But I got this in a, like, a charity shop for literally like two pounds maybe, one pound, I don't know, it was really cheap. And I've just started reading it, I'm literally 46 pages in, but I'm loving it so far, like it's really good. So I'm just gonna sit in the sun, read my book, and just enjoy the room life. The pasta was incredible, I just like sat and read for like an hour and it was so nice. Just outside, really comfy, it was amazing. My phone is literally on 18% though, and I'm like half an hour from home and I need directions, so it's gonna be goodbye for now. I'm gonna go back to the hostel and charge my phone up and then do something this afternoon, but also this is the Pantheon. I, I wanna go in, but I don't have time, so, well, I do have time, but my phone's gonna die, so I think I'll come back this afternoon to look at it, but look how pretty. Literally, Stunning, like you can go inside and it's free, so I think I'll do that this afternoon. It's a start of reading, so I stayed at the hospital for quite a while. He charged my phone and now I'm out for another pizza. It looks delicious. I'm so excited. The pizza was absolutely delicious. So good, literally. That one was cheaper as well than yesterday's because I didn't realize that some places add like a service fee. So yesterday they added a service fee, but today I didn't get added a service fee. So I don't know if that means I should have tipped or not, but I didn't because I'm trying to ball on a budget here. So I don't know. Who, I don't know the protocol. I, like, I know you do in America, but I just don't know about everywhere else. Anyway, guess what I'm eating right now? A McFlurry. A real life McFlurry. I haven't had one of these so many years but I, there's so many mcdonald's that they believe for some reason it must just be the vibe but they're just all around and i walked past one and i was like you know what feels really good right now a mcflurry so i've literally got a snickers mcflurry it's like peanuts caramel chocolate bits it's so good literally just a run eating a mcflurry life's good so i just popped into like a little mini grocery shop to get some things because I don't like want to be buying every single meal out, you know. But tell me why I went to the grocery store, though, like the furthest from my hostel. Like I've got a whole thing of like oat milk and like a jar of pasta sauce and like corn flakes. Like it's heavy in here. Like and everything's not gonna fit. And it's like literally like one of those compostable bags, and it's gonna break. I wish me luck. I could take this all back to the hostel with me. Back to the hostel. Um, I'll show you what I got. I got these little like mini pizzas for like a snack. First, I just got like cornflakes, fruit milk, and bananas. I thought that would be pretty good. And then pasta sauce. I just these like big fat foods. So, now I'm just gonna label my food and put it away and hope no one's eating pizza. I've just been chilling in the corner and area just like an hour and a half editing a couple of reels and now I'm gonna head off to bed because I'm going to I think it's pronounced Napoli's I think that's how you pronounce it so I need to be up and out of here pretty early tomorrow morning so, so probably the end of day two 
I'll see you tomorrow in Naples.